Better play. Mr. Ninja One here. Yeah, so anyway, I'm over at the DMV just uh, renewing the license plate sticker and the registration at the same time and the property taxes. So it's right in here. This is over in Cary. For some reason, in Garner, we don't have one. The only, the only thing we got from the DMV in Garner will be where you, you know, get your driver's license and renew it. Yeah, but for the license plate, registration, whatever, for your vehicle, we had to go all either the main headquarters for the state. It'll be in Raleigh, New Bern Avenue, which is, well, it's a little bigger, but it's not enough parking. Or this one here in uh, Cary, but got Northern Tool there, so I think maybe I'd go. So this is what it looks like from, for the state of North Carolina. Yeah, so got the license plate number, and then the VIN, and then the, which would be, so usually, yeah, it's like, let's see, the shipping lane. didn't even say the shipping lane. It didn't say the gross vehicle rate. It used to say that. This is private. So, this is how much I'm paying. So, the property tax is like $37.55. We used to pay that in a separate time of the year. But, then they decided to put that the same day. So, it's like $78.55. And you see how much you put, you know, the taxes on Wake County and then Garner. I don't know why it's, what's that extra fee in Bomb Garner. Fee fee, I guess vehicle fee. So I don't know what I had at. And then they said the price value is like nineteen hundred, nine hundred ninety. Which in my opinion this truck is worth thirty five hundred. This is the license plate sticker, so I had to put down the license plate. So this is what it looks like. And I'll show you what it looks like in the back. So you know it has all kinds of rules here saying uh you know that you must have uh liability insurance to register a vehicle in North Carolina and well okay if you have a change of address uh, just notify within 60 days and that makes sense and then in no event will motor vehicles registration renew unless the taxes on that vehicle has been paid which I think is ridiculous but I mean this is I mean it's not a bad price uh, for me well for this particular truck if I was driving a one-ton diesel truck, then I had to get like a, what's called a weighted license plate. And it's like a North Carolina truck license plate, but it just said weighted. It's kind of plain and boring looking. You know, it's white and has blue letters. And it used to be before that, you know, until 2005, uh, you had to get the license plate each year. See, there will be one with the, the year stamped in, just like in the, we did in old days, but since they had the license plate stickers for them back in 2005 when I had to use it. So yeah, my dad had that in his truck. I mean, he still got the same license plate from 2005. Yeah, but it's gonna cost a lot of money. See, it costs like over $100. I think my dad's only paying uh, like $160 just, just to renew that damn truck. It, it was ridiculous. And it's because the damn gross vehicle weight rating, so that's why I never bought a diesel truck. So I gotta put the license plate sticker in the back, so I got at least fold this like I had the one from last year. Yeah, so I got the screwdriver, so I had to, you know, take off this uh, smoke tent license plate cover. All right. I don't think anybody's gonna get my damn license plate number and say some stupid shit because uh, I'm not even where they said I was at. Yeah, because the thing is, they always censor license plates on TV. So what we had to do. Yes, put the license plate, get the license plate sticker on. Uh, okay, so now I got the new sticker on. So anyway, this is how I got, you know, registration and then insurance card. Uh, it's a special wallet that I got. So I put it in the glove box. So it'll be easy to get out just in case the uh, wall when the cop pulls me over, I got handy. But, uh, well... Well, since they got computers in their swap cars, they wouldn't have to do that. All they had to do is just pull up the, you know, driver's license number and then the license plate number just to see everything's valid and stuff, rather than, you know, risking somebody, you know, pulling out a gun from their glove box, which it rarely happens. But if somebody didn't have a gun inside the glove box and just reaching out to get a registration and then the cop shoot that person and then find out there's a gun and, uh, oh, shit, <laughs> that's a big mistake. Yeah, because a lot of times, like, it'll happen that way, but uh, since they just read up the information on their computers, it'd be a lot safer. Just look up the, you know, the driver's license number, 
and the ice plate number. So anyway, because uh, well, a couple weeks ago I I did flunk the you know the inspection, but I passed because I went to another place. So yeah, see, look, I passed. Yep. Yeah, this this is what we do for the mission testing. So I'll do is uh, I check the kettle converter to make sure it's uh, intact, make sure it's not tampered with, or make sure it's a factory one or a factory replacement. The interjection system, it does not have one because it's a, you know, 96 and newer, so they don't have that shit. Basically, that's like an air injection pump that is belt driven. It goes through the acrylic ver, which, uh, oh, that does burn a lot of gas. PVC valve is still intact. <clears throat> the unloaded gas uh, restrictor, it's passed. Exhaust gas for circulation, that's the EGR, it's passed. The thermo static. Uh, air temp, air control. I don't know what that is. It doesn't have it, so it's not optical. And let's see, the fuel evaporative control is passed. The oxygen center passed, and the gas cap passed. And then they do the OBD testing, so everything passed. So that's how they do the emission testing in North Carolina. Oh, uh, and like other states like California or uh, Oregon or the state of Washington or Colorado their mission testing is like a lot more stricter especially California they do a damn smog testing so what they do is just put like a damn uh, you know a tube on your tailpipe and put your wheels on the roller so no matter what drivetrain you have or if you have all of a drive you have like in all the rollers and it's like you know like a speed dyno just to see how much pollution is going to throw out or whatever RPMs is and shit and they're like revving, revving the engine and you know, just not treating your vehicle right in terms of you pass or not, especially with the diesel trucks that still have to take it. Diesel trucks in North Carolina don't have to take emission testing. So this is the inspection they checked so far. So, I mean, this is a lot better than what, what they have in uh, Pennsylvania or Virginia, like, especially in Virginia. is like uh, they have the, the state police, uh, you know, check everything and shit. And, well, what's unnecessary about their inspections in those two states is that they check the seat and they check the rear window of the froster if equipped or the rear window wiper if equipped and some other crap. And they just flung you for some st stupid shit. Like, uh, I don't know, let's say you have a third brake light that has uh, multiple uh, bulbs, like either it's LED or just the incandescent with uh, four sockets or more. Now, if you have, like, uh, maybe two or three that are out, but the rest are still working, they'll flunk you for that, which I think is ridiculous. Well, the one in the tr well, my truck, it still works. But they, but some of I mean, get flunked for that. And another thing, uh, on the other car I had, I got flunked on, you know, the inspection because uh, I have a broken sign marker lens. And it's in that Chrysler New Yorker, but the reason why it was broken is because uh, it got hit by a car when it was parked. And the lens is broke. The bulb still works. It's just that, uh, you go to the junkyard, can't even find it. Can't even find a part for it. So I'm stuck in that looking for a part, and then I got flunked for that. Which I think it was retarded. Yeah, so. Well, this, this is all what it looks like for the state. Uh, yeah, so uh, this will be all for right now. So uh, we'll just let you know what goes on next. Later.